I will explain uh, about the prayer of con pray good conduct, Madhyacharya uh, Pranidana prayer, uh, as much as I know and I prefer to few of the commentaries. Tene di da si relation do tene jabajabya tan si ka ta shoro ka relation do jabajab ti jab she sa mare tene ti moji ji instale so first uh, uh, there's no time to explain the verses each and every verse, or there's not even a need to do that. The Congressman on the talent that the Madam Kansa Dungi or the Tain to Kana, the name Madam Dunyad Kapsu, the name some of the Tanshea Chedu, mixed to me, you teach any, the name Madam Kansha with the Shui. So the reason is that since we are doing the aspiration prayer, the prayer of con good conduct here, so this is just to facilitate uh, the motivation and the kind of intention you can generate while uh, reciting the prayer. <coughs> This uh, Bhadiracharya Pranidana prayer or the prayer of conduct is uh, taken from one of the, uh, the vastest sutra in the words of the Buddha, the Kanjur, called the Avatamsaka Sutra. Then, so if you can specifically know that, that this prayer has been taken or extracted from the Apatamsaka Sutra, there will be a great benefit. So each sutra has a different subject or different way to understand the meaning of the sutra. For instance, the Jatakamala Sutra has different uh, meaning and uh, uh, the Vajrachitika Sutra has a different meaning. Likewise, the Avasamtaka Sutra has also uh, carries a different meaning. For instance, the, uh, the Sutra of the Four Noble Truths. So, uh, we can even uh, see the place, we can even visit the place where this uh, sutra has been taught in Varanasi at Deer Park in Sanat. Mm -hmm. 
Then a coronatis and bow second double penna, codina second to the long bar second to the so shakjagi music that in sound of which a page charge and a penna you build the music in the insertes. So the disciples who received the teachings or listened to the teachings were people from the Shakya clan uh, in UP, Uttar Pradesh, like uh, Kodi Naya, the five fortunate disciples. They in Dugana, Michigi, Mikashe, Jilabaka, Keshe, Devanajinji, Yore. At a glance, it uh, looks like that a person is talking to another person or a group of uh, other person, people. Then, so for the Avatam Sakat Sutra, the place where Buddha taught this sutra is uh, cannot be imagined in our mind. So it's unimaginable. So even if we consider that this particular sutta is being taught at this very moment in a place like uh, Sharavasti, simultaneously it also seems like this sutra is being taught in it another place beyond this Jambudiba continent. So even the disciples who receive these teachings are mixed that we cannot possibly imagine in our mind. Uh, not just the human disciples or the human recipe, uh, recipients, they are also non-human recipients such as gods, asuras, ganarvas, and serpents, and so on. So in the Avatamsaka Sutra, so if you think about the Buddha who uh, gave this discourse or the teachings, uh, the Buddha is unlike the other sutras, the Buddha is quite majestic and uh, uh, inconceivable in this uh, context. Perna ting sang tata nganzu da chili cha java yina nganzu mi nang na ta cha java yina tene che sheng ken ta lama da chugu da kemba da tende jegi mi kashe jil nganzu berik da putin de le kashe she sheva kashe she pazu kashe she sheva de yang til lama da chugu kemba da su yina tegi berik sam chi ma yimba Jagartang, Janatang, Tene Gosertang, Tende, Yang Music Mandrava, Kesha Shankinja, Music Yava, you know, that they made the pen one a lapoche redus and Zusamatang River. For instance, today in this world, if there is a teacher like a Lama or Tuku or the Kembo who can teach not just one particular uh, race of people, or the disciples, not just the Tibetans, but for instance, a Kembo or the Tuku who can teach the Tibetans, at the same time also teach uh, in the Indians or Chinese or the Westerners, then this person or the teacher is considered great. So 
So it is uh, very difficult to, for a teacher to have that kind of quality. For instance, uh, including me, there are so many campus here. If we are asked to teach uh, the Heart Sutra, uh, Prajna Paramita Sridha, to a five-year-old child, we cannot do it. We can't communicate with the child or the children. So we can only give reading transmissions. Otherwise, we can't uh, communicate the meaning. Zo me dame ti me sigen ji pugu longa chigen ji la she yang she pugu longa chigen ti pe tele ya pe nyembo shi bu tsor ta ti ngone ya sin chen bu du sin dung she ba na sin chen tele pa nyende ya ba ting ngan zo ke ten zo tu ge meres so we cannot uh, teach to a 5 year old uh, child uh, the the contents of the Pratna Paramita Siddha, the Heart Sutra, such as no, no ear, no no sense, so on, uh, in a way that the the recipient or the, the audience, the five year old child, can really enjoy uh, hearing this teaching, such as just like hearing a beautiful uh, story. The name. Jung, Jung, Tende, Kalekabo, Tende, Mang Chaval Shedu Gana, Tenepe, Nyokto Rabucha, Kojut Shida, Methink in the Red Rogers. So, in many cases, uh, uh, when we teach the difficult subjects like philosophical texts, uh, people often feel that they cannot understand and they feel, uh, over time, <coughs> they feel bored to listen to the, such teachings. Tene Sanjigi, so the audience of for this particular sutta when Buddha taught this sutra, there were uh, different kinds of audience like the bodhisattvas in the higher bhumis, the bodhisattva bhumis and bodhisattvas, the initiate bodhisattvas, then non-human disciples such as gods, asuras, uh, demons and so on. So when we recite this Pranidhanaraja uh, prayer or the prayer of conduct, so uh, we need to uh, be able to uh, digest this inconceivability of uh, uh, the inconceivable meaning and then the inconceivable place and then the inconceivable uh, field. Tinde majena, tene tata manam gotu du ina ya pena chinghe suda chuju jite na sen ma gotu yundi kana. So if we can, uh, if we are, if we think about the inconceivability, then when we begin to recite this prayer that um, I prostrate or make offerings to the infinite Buddhas in the infinite Purims, so not only the Buddhas of the present, the present, the Buddhas of the present, we can conceive and we can think about that can fit into <coughs> our mind stream, but even the Buddhas of the past and the present, the infinite Buddhas of the past and the presence, present in the infinite realms, can fit into our mind stream when we uh, recite the prayer. If we try to understand this 
inconceivability that is explained in the Avatam Saga Sutra. Then Digvashaya Gikapsu Yang, then in Devi Digvashaya, that yes, Shaya, that is some of the Shaguji, Tandarang, Saja, Digvatam Shaya, some of the Shongi Yena Tishi, the Maumba, that then Digvazam, Matarvatam Jay, Tatan Shaya, and the Zoya Cashit in the Yord. So there are points in the the prayer that not only we confess the negative actions committed in the past uh, and also the present, but even the uh, the future negative action that has not really been committed, that that can also that uh, point can that idea or the concept can also fit into our mind. Then it dulten chicky thing like dulten egg, Sanjak Shingham, you are a singer, but that in the catch a mambo, you are a Sanjak Nanda. Did you have a gym send it, Tagin Kondushibanaji, then in the Parching in Dornani, Dion or Rest, the Parching in Dodi, there's some of Tangan Kai or Rest. So in the prayer, there is, uh, <coughs> there are instances that in one single atom, there are uh, the atoms that exist in the whole universe, the infinite uh, atoms. So these are all taken from the Avatamsaka Sutras. That's why I'm mentioning this sutra. Tene Cho Sekindadang, Du Sekinda Bhutiso Tanda Manzuk Samatang Tang the Pe Chung Chung Yote. So the time and the direction at that, this moment, the how we think, uh, our thinking or the, our concept of uh, direction and time is very limited at the moment. So at the moment, uh, everybody thinks that it is getting dark. So animals such as cats and dogs, they don't know whether it is getting dark or not. So they have different way of thinking. So at the moment, uh, even the thought of the future uh, that we have, it, like uh, vaguely, we have that uh, the thought of the future, the concept of the future. When the discipline announces that, uh, unlike the usual timing, that tomorrow uh, people should gather here at 6 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> So even the direction, we have very limited uh, understanding or the perception that uh, the sun rises in the east and uh, uh, it goes in the west. Even the concept of uh, size, like big, small, that is also very limited. So the size and the direction and the time explained in the Avatamsaka Sutra is beyond measure, beyond our ima imagination. So it is not a mythological story, this uh, inconceivable time and direction that's explained in the Avatamsaka Sutra. In fact, uh, the, the limitations of the time, uh, direction, 
and size, these are all fabricated by our conceptual minds. So if we understand that these are just the creation of our mind, the fabrication of our mind, then our clinging to the, uh, the size, time, size, this will uh, fall apart. Then so the Avatamsaka Sutra is really a vast sutra. So within that, there is the Gandabhya Sutra, the Stem Re Sutra. And again, the Gandabhya Sutra, the Stem Re Sutra itself is a vast subject. There's so many wonderful stories in the uh, Gandhavya Sutra. Uh, so there is a story about, mainly there is a story about the young Bodhisattva called Sudhana uh, encountering uh, Bodhisattva Manjushri. Uh, in the presence of Manjushri, he takes the Bodhisattva vow or he generates the Bodhicitta. So in the presence of uh, Manjushri, he uh, studies, you know, contemplates and meditates. And then Manjushri sends the Sudhana to a particular place and he also uh, gives a direction to find the teacher, the Bodhisattva, and he should uh, take that Bodhisattva as a teacher. And with the extreme hardships and difficulties, uh, the young Bodhisattva Sudhana goes to that particular place and uh, encounters or meet the Bodhisattva. And from that Bodhisattva, the Sudhana receives uh, teachings and practice them. And that, again, that Bodhisattva sends Sudhana to another place to find a different Bodhisattva. So in the Gandhavya Sutra, there is a story of Sudhana uh, going to 53 different kinds of Bodhisattva teachers. And the, the, the outlook or the presence of the, these teachers and the way they uh, fun, do things are inconceivable, it's unimaginable, unimaginable in your mind. So more than 20 of his teachers are females. Now, some of his teachers are uh, ordained like monks and rishis. So some of his teachers are merchants, quite powerful. And one of the teachers is an eight-year-old child. And 
So having received the teach teachings from uh, 53 teachers, the last teacher from whom Sudana received teachings is Bodhisattva Samantha Bhatra. Since Samantha Bhadra practices the Bodhisattva actions in the manner of aspirations, so this uh, Pranitanaraja prayer, the prayer of con con prayer of good conduct is the the last section of the sutra, the Gandhavya Sutra. It seems that it's very important to make aspiration. So in the in Tibet there are instances where uh, Avalokiteshvara, basically the deity of compassion, is uh, practiced as the the wisdom deity. So in <coughs> Tibet, uh, you can't find, you don't find much of Samantha Bhadra, the deity of to accomplish aspiration. However, in Tibet, it is almost impossible to find a person who does not recite uh, the prayer of good conduct. So the, the Samanda Bhadra is uh, quite popular in uh, China. So there is also instances of uh, practicing Samanta Bhadra in places like Thailand and Laos. I'm sure most of you know this difference. So the Samanta Bhadra in this prayer and uh, the, the primordial Buddha Samanta Bhadra in the Nyingma uh, teachings, is, they are slightly different. So as I mentioned just now, it's very important to make aspiration. So uh, the reason is that uh, among the practices we do, the thing that we can actually accomplish and actualize is aspiration. The best one can do is to meditate on the wisdom of no self, but at the very outset, outset it is difficult even to intellectually understand this. We can, we might be able to uh, meditate or contemplate on uh, compassion, loving kindness, and bodhicitta for a small fraction of time, but it is very difficult to uh, do it consistently and continuously. So 
Likewise, it is very difficult to have uh, such um, values or the qualities as, such as renunciation and devotion and confidence in the three jewels, teachers and so on. Even if a person could recognize the triple gem or the three jewels and have confidence in the three jewels, it is very difficult to continue with that kind of uh, confidence. If it is difficult to have or nurture conceivable qualities such as uh, devotion, uh, compassion, loving kindness, it is very difficult, it would be very difficult to uh, have that inconceivable qualities in our mind. So the thing we can do is that we can make aspiration that may uh, devotion arises in our, my mind stream, may compassion arises in my mind stream, so may confidence uh, arises in my mind stream. That we can do. So, moreover, we can, uh, through aspiration, we can uh, do that uh, the, uh, we, that we can realize emptiness and so on. So if you wish and if you have interest that to have to accomplish uh, something, then automatically uh, you will also you can also persevere in order to accomplish that aspiration. So the aspiration you make is you need to aspire for things that is uh, achievable, that can be accomplished. So the the aspiration that one can accomplish is the aspiration that all beings uh, attain enlightenment. So uh, <coughs> basically, this is the only aspiration that can be achieved. So, for instance, uh, the aspiration for long life, maybe your life can be extended by one day, a month, or a few years, but you cannot become, uh, yeah, that you cannot become uh, deathless. So it, is, it is also very difficult to completely uh, actualize the aspiration to become wealthy and you know to not have sickness. Maybe to a very small extent one can actualize it, but to actualize completely it's very difficult. 
So the aspiration that can be accomplished and achievable is the aspiration that all beings attain imaginary reason is that all beings are by nature Buddha, they have the Buddha nature, Tatakatakarva. And in the process, as a side effect, you can also aspire to uh, have long life, wealthy, uh, world peace, and so on. That's how you can do it. So that's why it's important to make aspiration.